Here, the base emitted junction is forward biased, and the collector base junction is reverse biased. Small input signal is applied to the base emitted junction. This signal varies the voltage across the base emitted junction, causing changes in the width of the depletion region. As a result, the base current changes. These changes in the base current cause proportional shifts in the collector current, leading to signal amplification. The amplified output signal appears across the collector emitted junction. This output signal is essentially a larger and amplified version of the input signal. By controlling the base current, we can control the collector current, and thus, amplify the input signal. To extract the amplified signal, a load resistance is connected in series with the collector terminal. The varying collector current, modulated by the input signal, results in a varying voltage drop across this load resistor. This voltage is the amplified output signal. Thank you for watching.